Hey everybody, I'm here at the AADE National Fluids Conference in Houston, Texas, and I just wanted to introduce some people I get to meet. Uh, what's your name? So my name is Juan Flores, and I'm a senior petroleum engineering student at the University of Houston. And what's your name? And my name is Mohamed Howder, and I'm also a junior petroleum engineer student. I got one more year to go. Well, guys, thanks for uh, being on my show real quick. Um, what got you interested in oil and gas? So for me, it's just living in Houston, Texas, born and raised, and it's just like you live in the mecca of oil and gas. So you see all these huge companies out here on the side of the road. It's like, man, one day I want to join that company, help that company grow. And I mean, oil and gas is just so important to the energy sector, and uh, I see the value in that and trying to help out any way possible. So you weren't um, swayed by all the rhetoric that may be part of you know the global conversation right now that oil and gas is bad and uh, alternative energy sources are better. You, you're convinced now that you know oil and gas is necessary. It's definitely necessary. I think uh, just uh, off the media is just you see like it's just like you see the cover of it. You have to really dive into it and see what's really going on on the inside. Of it. And studying petroleum engineering, you really get to see that. You really get to learn all the background of it, the backstory of it, how important it is to our economy and just uh, in general energy is something that we need to uh, keep going, keep growing. And uh, obviously, like energy transition is great. Uh, but it's going to take time, so and we need to definitely do our best to get there in a safe and efficient way. Nice. What, what about you? Do you have any family in oil and gas? Yes. Or is it, yeah? Yeah, I grew up in the Middle East. Uh, my family kind of owns like a small service company mm -hmm. where we kind of grew up uh, like servicing and uh, supplying all of these uh, LNG facilities and small service companies. So that kind of like, really got me into the oil and gas industry. And really, eventually, I really want to like uh, grow our company, uh, get more experience, and then maybe later on, maybe I understand uh, the industry more better. Uh, you asked a question about like the energy tra transition. That is really also important. And it's a really good question that to, uh, to answer for all of us as uh, upcoming. Uh, petroleum engineers. I think I'm, I'm doing a minor in energy sustainability and to kind of get the background of understanding how, how can we make this energy transition be as efficient as possible. And as we already know, 85% of the world is depending on oil and gas. So how can we make that and, and it's still like balancing, I guess, power like between like renewables and uh, fossil fuels. Do you, th do you think that oil and gas will always be an energy yes. source? Yes. I do too. Yes, I completely believe in that. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, I, I for one think that natural gas is actually a renewable resource just as much as solar and wind. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even really believe that solar and wind are renewable when you look at the entire value chain and the footprint of what, you know, what has to take place to put up a windmill or put a solar panel out and then energy storage. You know, those conversations are, you know, broad, but for oil and gas, so the the AADE here in Houston, you're part of that. Right. Uh, just for oil and gas uh, association of drilling engineering students, and uh, what uh, where's your chapter based out of? So we're University part of, Houston? of the University of Houston. Okay. Yes, sir. So what we try to do is obviously, like you're saying, like some students they might be getting dissuaded as far okay, that just be an energy transition. Like, wow, well, where's oil and gas going to go? Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. So that's what we're trying to tell them. And so we bring them out here to these conferences and like, we're so grateful to be here and have this opportunity and like just with having them out there and talking to the companies that are, are operating and doing the work and like and meeting all these people in the industry these professionals it keeps the motivation up and i think it's something that we miss out sometimes uh just being stuck in school you don't get to see that so bringing those companies in uh getting our students to network with them uh and just build their idea of what an energy is in general where it comes from and uh, how it can be sustained is important and for us i mean you know right now our industry is begging for young vibrant ideas you know a diversity of thought so that we can continue to grow and change and adapt to all the you know necessary components of what's going to take for people even want to invest in oil and gas so interacting with the next generation and students in particular that have a desire to be in our industry you know, we have to constantly remind ourselves, what can we do to help the next generation? How, how can I make sure that you get out here, get involved, meet people? And then for you guys, uh, just recruiting other people in your own, in, you know, in your own network and saying, hey, guys, oil and gas is not going to go away. You will, you know, have a job there. You know, your investment in your education in oil and gas is important. And it will pay off. I mean, our, our industry is, you know, very uh, good at rewarding those who, you know, educate themselves and work hard, you know, toward, you know, what we're doing. So do you have any ideas you know, what we can do better as an industry to recruit, you know, younger uh, people into our industry? I think uh, this is a start. Like right now we're here at the ADE Fluids Conference uh, in downtown Houston. So obviously uh, we've been offered a booth to be here and kind of bring in our students into a conference that maybe they can't afford it or maybe they can't, 
or they never heard about it or whatever the case it is. But you bring us in, bring in the student organizations to come out, I see it, and that way we can get spread the word. It's all about spreading the word, letting them know what's available, what's out there. Uh, and it'll be sometimes. How do we reach you? Do you guys like mail, like snail mail, or do you want like TikTok? <laughs> 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 you know, as you know, the social media guy for quite a few of the uh, uh, AAD stuff, you know, I always wonder, like, how in the heck do I even get a hold of you guys? <laughs> I guess I go to the dean, right, and say, hey, all of you guys, you want an A, you have to go to this conference. Right. Well, that's a way, but I think <laughs> the best way. Right? The yeah. best way, I mean, social media is a big thing. I mean, everyone's on there. So, I mean, it, it could work. Uh, obviously, like, you have, like, an Instagram for, like, AAD Houston that we can follow. And post your events on there, post live stories. When you have a student take over your social media account for a day, walk around the conference, talk to people, yeah. just uh, create an interaction with the students. I think it's a, it's a great way to get them involved. There we go. Well, I, I appreciate you both. Uh, young leaders in our industry, uh, future, be watching for these guys. Uh, how do they get a hold of you guys on LinkedIn yet? Yeah. There we go. We are. Um, my name is Mohammed Howder, so I think it's easier. H A W T E R, last name. So that's. Uh, very active there, so yeah. Right. There we go. And so, you're on LinkedIn also? Yeah, most on LinkedIn. So my LinkedIn, you can find me as Juan Bernardo Flores. So just... Uh, That's our social media name. platform. Until yeah. somebody comes up with something better, LinkedIn, we kind of took over. Yeah, LinkedIn is great. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate you both. And uh, man, I'm excited for your future. I'm cheering for you and I'll pray for you guys and uh, your careers. So go get them. Guys, this is uh, what we do. Next. Mm -hmm.